Hi, it's Friday, August 27th, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen. No notes, no sense, a beautiful day, but no digital stream today because we lost 13 great Americans, 18 are injured, families have to deal with all this, and those 18, who knows what's going to happen there, and of course all the Afghanis who got slaughtered by these people who call themselves people who aren't people. But let's get on to this, okay, I just can't. We have to think about what's going on. The problem we have now is, and this is part eight of Afghanistan, and I appreciate people who have been following me with this. It's been a small core, and that core stayed on, and I, and I do appreciate because this is one of the most consequential times in American history, and gosh, I've lived through a lot of them. This is like reminding me of a rock concert. Unfortunately, the music isn't too good. When you listen to the Republicans and you listen to Fox News, mostly on Fox News, all you hear are the war hawks. I've been warning you about the war hawks. Kill, kill, let's get going. Let's get more war. We have to prove we're Sparta. This is the way it is. It's like a rock concert. You know, you hear the drums beating. It gets everybody moving. Anybody who hasn't been to like a really hard rock concert, you hear it's just that drums. Boom, 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 boom. You get a couple guitars in there. You crank up the amplifiers. And this aggressive energy is just like banging, cascading off the walls, and people just suck off of it and just get more energy, and the concert gets crazier and better and better, but it's a concert. It's music. But if you listen to the Warhawks and on TV, and they sit there and say, let's take over Bagram Airport. Remember I talked about this, what, two, three, four videos ago? I don't know what these people are talking about. I appreciate that they are generals, but most of them have lied to us about what's going on. Bagram is an hour and a half north of, of Kabul. What were we going to do? Just fly in there and take it over? Or are we just going to drive up there for an hour and a half and get shot at? And then when we take it over, we have to put in, what, two, three times the amount of troops we have in there now? And then we'll be circ encircled again by all these Afghanis that are going to want to leave. And then you'll have more terrorists coming and blowing up things. And we'll be in more fights. And this is what the war hawks want. And if you listen to them, CNN's got some of them too. I don't want to name names, but, but they're all over Fox. And if you listen to them, it's like you would think, oh, we just have to keep fighting. We don't. The war is over. Who are we going to shoot? Do we have any friends there? No. So who are we going to know is good or bad? Are we going to shoot Taliban, ISIS-P, or whatever they call themselves? And who, How are you going to know it's a terrorist? You're not going to know. What are we going to do, just bomb everybody indiscriminately? What do you think the world will think of America? The world's looking at us now going, okay, we're getting out, we got to get out, and they may be mad that they weren't a part of it, but nobody wants war. But this would be war. Listen to these war hawks and ignore them. Turn down the volume on Fox. Turn down the volume when the war hawks come on on CNN. And that's basically the two places where they're going, but mostly on Fox from 7 o'clock on. Incredible. Just hear that bounding of the drums at the concert, right? Pound, 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 aggressive energy. Let's take them down. We're the greatest. We can do it. We can kill them. Yeah. How sad is this? Let's get out. Let's forget about this. Learn what we did wrong and go from there. We got a lot to learn from. But going back in would be absolutely dumb, beyond dumb. Turn off the Warhawks. The war is over. Peace.